Hello, hello. Welcome, guys. Come on in. How is the virtual writing retreat uh, treating you guys this weekend? I have not gotten any words yet today, but that's about to change. <laughs> Let's see. Carla dashes in from Tracy's feed and takes a seat before poking Jenna with a pencil. <laughs> Heather sneaks in the far back and waves hi. How's it going, Heather? Rita waves hello to frightening friends. I need a snack and refill the water. Good idea. Uh, plan positives. Hello, so not, so not motivated today. Uh, yesterday, my dog ended up at the vet. Oh, and even though she's on meds and healing, I'm off kilter. Help me, Tracy. <laughs> You're in the right place, son. We'll get you centered and back on task. And I'm happy to hear that the baby is better. <laughs> uh, I'm in the process of my first rewrites for my first book. I don't know how you all do it. Piece by piece. Don't overwhelm yourself, hon. Have you done your first read through and taken notes? And then um, highly recommend taking multiple strikes at it, looking for specific things. Um, usually start with structure and make sure that the actual core story really works well for you. Um, and you're happy with that before you start niggling with everything else, because there's no point in really changing a character up if the core story isn't working right. Uh, let's see. Jenna. Hello, Han. Haley waving hello. Headphones in. I need to edit a lot of pages. You've got this on. Uh, Jenna, good to see so many of you here. Yes. Francis, hello. Welcome. King Inca is here. Hey, how's it going, Han? Uh, Rita, uh, plan positives for me. I focus on one chapter at a time. Rest, but never give up. Best of luck. It's so true. Hey, good afternoon, Elizabeth. And hello, Jess. Why are we poking with pencils? <laughs> Love it. Uh, let's see, a hug. Yeah, sometimes hugs are empty too. <laughs> I agree, Jenna. Uh, Elizabeth, I've written 3,601 words today. I hung out with a friend today for a while, which was a fun break for me. Nice. Uh, and plan positive. Thanks, everyone. You all are amazing. So amazing. Perfect. Okay, guys, we are going to dive right on in. We're going to do our first writing prompt. Uh, of course, you guys know the my two minute micro sprint plan, but we have kind of, we're trying something new, doing something different. So let's get started. Oh, I've got my document up beside me here. Uh, da, da, da. I changed my my cap nano goal from 20k to 30k because I still haven't quite figured out everything I want on the story, but I did. Yesterday's session um, really found something that kind of unlocked all the keys. Unlocked, lo unlocked all the doors, not keys. Um, it just, but I decided on it. It just kind of, everything kind of came together. It was really cool. Uh, so very happy for that. Just that seems dangerous. <laughs> what? I used the eraser. And <laughs> oh, perfect. I love it. Okay, right, guys, we're going to dive on in. So. Our writing prompt for today is the same one that we've used uh, for the last few weeks for the first one, simply because I kind of love it and it is really good for just unlocking the mind and getting everything going on the page. Hey Tammy, how's it going? Happy Saturday right back to you. Hi right, guys, so what are three things your character could be doing to move the plot forward? Choose one. What outcomes do you see from this action? So what scene or chapter do you have in mind that you're going to work on today? And what are th three things that character could be doing to move the plot forward? We're going to run with one of them. And with that one, we're going to kind of think about where that can take the story, how that can move the forward motion of the story, what complications that can create, um, relationship issues. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, internal issues for the character. Um, are they doing something that they're comfortable with or uncomfortable with? And um, yeah, let's kind of just go with the creative juices and see what we can come up with. And it's a good little warm up just to kind of get our minds warmed up and go with our writing. I'm aiming for 75k words for Nano. I can't do it as it is. I'm 
I may have to tweak it back. I know my original one was 20. I might go to 25 instead because I still have to do my coursework. And I cannot hurt myself in the process. <laughs> okay, guys, let's dive on in and get that two-minute timer up. What are three things that your character could be doing to move this plot forward? And let's go. Grab your notebook. Grab a bit of screen. Let's start taping. Okay, I'll see you guys on the other side of two. There we go. What did you guys come up with? Uh, I think I have a good thought here. Instead of, and it works with what already is happening, um, an uncomfortable moment that she experiences, and then hearing her mother suggesting something that would create more of those for her. <laughs> let's see elaine is sliding in hello hun how's it going let's see jenna going to work on a vlog first but this is perfect for later thank you for the question the ex betrothed is about to save the person who replaced him Ooh, choices be the hero baddie or sacrifice nice 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 Ooh, and you just gave me goosebumps i don't usually get them this early in the show <laughs> nice thank you jenna uh let's see elaine today i'm thinking out some beats uh for my next book very nice which system are you using hun uh let's see rita my next chapter is the element match so that will be easy to move the plot forward action Ooh, nice guys ah okay we are gonna dive on in for a sweet 45 minutes going to have ourselves a little break with another question i didn't change the one from yesterday because i think we still have value from that one i have created a list of them so i can change them out and choose which mix them up here and there um so for now we'll just use the same two ultimate prize which about for tomorrow uh tomorrow at 5 p.m guys uh eastern i am back for more writing sprints and then um there'll be an opening in the uh, after me and i think I want to say Jenna is leading out the end of our virtual writing retreat weekend. Um, no plan with me weekly this week. Uh, the only opening was uh, not, didn't quite work with life stuff. So, but I do have time to the writing, so we're going to get that in. Uh, so I do ask if you guys to go and use the replay for the plan with me weekly from last week and uh, use the template and plan your week out and then next weekend we'll get down to our monthly planning for may 
and um, we'll get into our and we'll get some weekly planning in there as well. We'll try to. I think I can manage all of that. <laughs> Uh, it'll be a busy weekend, but an awesome weekend. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Carla, my character is trying to escape from being tied up and thrown in a closet. Ooh, Morgus bumps. Mm. <laughs> Save the cat is my bae, but then I marry it up with romancing the beat. Ooh, nice. Uh, Elizabeth, my teenage girl in this novel, has a dream about the guy she's dating, and it makes her miss him since they're long distance, since the parents, the teenager, and the first person narrator sister all moved across the country. Yes, Jenna is the last sprint uh, tonight and tomorrow. Yes, perfect. Okay, guys, and Angela's gonna, I have to get you guys out of here in a two hour block so I can hand you off to Angela next. Okay, let's dive in. Take what you did with the prompt. See what kind of how you can work that into the scene or chapter that you're working on and see what kind of forward emotion that gives for it. Okay, guys, I'll see you on the other side of 45. Good luck. Good writing.
so how did you guys do how did that go for you um i ended up working through the subplot now that i know two new pieces of information and figuring out it's similar but a little bit different in the fact that there's more um it's more of an external element to it instead of it was very internal before now there's an internal and external element going on so um and i gave a play-by-play -play of sort of the father's vision for the future and all the pieces that have to fall into place for that to happen which is kind of almost impossible but at the same time doable <laughs> And she's fighting for this while her uh, mother is actively sabotaging it. Uh, let's see. Uh, where do we go? Where do we leave off? Thank you, Heather. I'm loving the music, too. I love the energy in this one. Okay, okay, okay. Where did I... Hmm. Where I left off. We will start with T. Marie. Hello. It's been a while. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but my writer's block seems gone for now. Thought the retreat would be a great place to jump in. For sure, yes. If my eyes tear, guys, it's because the pollen count right now is rather nasty and it's killing me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Jenna, I got the blog recorded. Going to look in this during dinner while the files upload to server. Nice. Jess, oh, thank you. Both of you, thank you. Hit the, yes, hit the like button, guys. It helps others to find this channel. <coughs> I'm sorry. Mm. Pollen. Mm. Such a fun thing. <laughs> hey Lee, 10 pages edited. Then remembered that I need food to fuel the brain machine. I love it. Yes, the brain machine. I love it. Uh, plan positive. Okay, I start with a plan. No new words, but I'm organized for the night. And that is perfectly fine. Get yourself organized. Get yourself sorted as to where you want to be and what you need to do. Uh, Carla, well, that escape attempt didn't quite work. Mm. Oh, interesting. Is it fun on the page? It's fun. <laughs> life uh, decided to life during that sprint, hoping to get the rest of this sprint and all of Angela and Jenna's to myself. You've got this, you've got this. Heather got him to finding out he and his ancestor are in love with the same woman. <coughs> oh, wow. Oh, yes. I love. That sounds amazing. Uh, Jess, yesterday I finally got to my desk and was going to focus for Angela's entire sprint in an hour. And there was a widespread internet outage till 1 a.m. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, ours did a... Yeah, I was one out yesterday. My poor daughter upgraded her system a little bit and got it plugged in. And the minute she goes to use it, um, the internet went down. <laughs> of course, she needed it too right at that point for chess. So I'm like, eh, just do it on your phone. Doesn't quite work that way, but do it on your phone. Uh, let's see, Pollen's being mean to me way over here too. Yeah, it's a nasty little year. It's aggressive. Uh... We need more stories about the antagonist being involved. <laughs> Rita, I finished uh, chapter 16 and ready for the next one. The revising trip is almost completed, at least for book one of about five. Mm, nice. Uh, let's see. Jazz revising my short story and I've gotten a good chunk edited. Very nice. Thank you, Plan. Plan Positives. Uh, Inca, 790 words. Uh, Tammy, working on book two. Sent book one for development, uh, development edits. Uh, the second book is a redemption art for the villain in the first book. Ooh, like that. Always love the villain. Ready to have some fun with this one. Ooh, love. Yeah, it has root time. <laughs> <root. laughs> Elaine got some ideas uh, noted down, but distracted by thoughts of rearranging the office. I am wanting to as well, but I need a new power cord and um, a surge protector to do that. And I am figuring out, trying to figure out how long the cord has to be to make that work. Because apparently, if you plug them into an ex regular extension cord, 
things don't work so well and I don't want to do that. So now I have to buy another one. I have to figure out how long the cable needs to be for the configuration I want so it doesn't come up just shy. And I have a feeling the one that I've got sitting in my Amazon cart is probably about two feet too short. So I need to get a longer one. Uh, let's see, Jess. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Uh, Ken, Ken Sogi. Uh, Magnolia finished updating my outline. I'm going back to my editing. I like that prompt. It's sweet, right? We have a different, we have another one here. Jenna, dinner is almost done in the oven and start tinkering around in Kickstarter since I am almost to the halfway point of writing one of the last books for it. So much has changed since last year on the Kickstarter website for the for for the good or for for the bad explain okay so we are going to dive on into our next prompt I kept the same one from yesterday because I kind of liked it uh, I'll probably change it up for something tomorrow uh let's see your writing prompt is what will the character gain or lose in this scene how does that inform the the scene the rest of the scene or story you think maybe and actually it's probably better if you can do both what is happens towards the end of the scene when this happens and how does that affect the whole entire arc of the story how long does that um how long does it derail them or help them or right how long does it mess them up for uh they streamline some things i'm like where is oh that kind of mm, nothing where it's supposed to be kind of like the grocery store right <laughs> Okay, guys, so what will the character gain or lose in this scene? And how does this inform the rest of the scene or story? Let's dive in and see what we can do with this prompt. And then we'll have another 45 minute sprint. And then I will be handing you off to Angela for our second to last live stream of the evening. And then we're back tomorrow, guys, for another full day of sprinting for our virtual writing retreat. Okay, guys, uh, let's get that two minute timer up. And let's find out what we can figure out with this new prompt and go. Oh. Where did I put? Now we get to this thing. No, what's that? That's funny. I have to look with that. Okay, that makes break time. So, oops, she has to go. Hmm, that's intriguing. Okay. Hmm, how did you guys do? I kind of left myself more with a question, but it's a good one. Uh, what did you guys come up with? 
Um, so if she, mm, not sure what to do. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Facebook likes to do that and other platforms. So annoying. Oh, I agree completely and totally. Uh, I think I'm going to run with that idea that if she can get her mother to get out of there. move to that tightens the timeline sweet okay guys we are going to dive on into our second 45 minute sprint and uh, see what magic we can have happen on the page how do you guys feel about this uh this particular prompt i know the other one really opens up the mind and gets things going what does this one do for you um, I find that like the first part, the second part of the question might be a bit harder to answer, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It just might not be appropriate for the shorter time that we have here. Maybe I want to keep it cleaner than that. Do some thinking about that. Let me know if you're catching this on the replay, then comment and let me know what you uh, think about this secondary uh, prompt and um, if I should alter it or if I should uh, keep it as it is. Okay, guys, we're going to dive on in 45 minutes because we got to keep this tight so I can hand you off to Angela's sprint, which is going to start at the top of the hour. Okay, right, guys, good luck, good riding, and I'll see you on the other side of 45.
Well, how did you guys make out? How did you guys do? Um, I ended up figuring out um, a long list of pinch points that could be used from various characters and situations that I can sprinkle throughout the story to, uh, to have a more sort of more external things that can happen um, and uh, they can weigh on the internal that she's going to carry anyway which I kind of already have uh, let's see um, yes Tracy uh, for Jody Jean definitely uh, and I do love the spelling that she, her spelling is so cool <laughs> Uh, I have the very more traditional spelling of just C Y. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you're welcome. That's why on the Google Calendar it says Tracy. If you look at it, yeah, yeah, for sure. Just I only know of I think three amends that write under something other than their name. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's see. I guess I. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you are so welcome, Sarah. Got a couple scenes rearranged and beefed up in plotting. Nice. I just came up with another new uh, new prompt for us, so I'll put that one in the second one uh, for tomorrow. I'm on at 5 p.m. Eastern, guys, so come and join me. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rita, journaling cat time, and got through a page for revisions. Very nice. Hand wrote three event pages. Nice. Well done, Bryn. Uh, Inca, 796 that time. Thanks for the spins. You are so welcome, hon. Uh, T. Marie uh, managed to get in one scene. That's fantastic. You are so welcome, Rita. Uh, Louise, thanks for hosting. I jumped in just as the last one started and got more words written. Love it. Uh, Kate, reading over chapter 14. No words, just reading over right now. And that is a valid step. It's all good. Allow yourself to do it. Gokoro, 651 words. New scenes. Beautiful. Uh, Just Tamara, Jen, and Tracy are the only ones I know. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Tammy got 492 that time and cookies in the oven. Both delicious. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Angela is taking over next. And then Jen is going to finish out the night. So uh, Angela has her books. Jump on over to hers and let's keep the magic of virtual writing, uh, virtual, the virtual writing retreat going. I would say double down day. That's not yet. <laughs> That's the first Saturday of the month. Uh, let's see. Francis, thank you so much for hosting. You're so welcome. Hit my workout goal for the day. Very nice. Cat ate dinner, late lunch. Beautiful. Uh, JM, you guys are rocking it. I'm back, but I guess I'll have to jump in the next person sprints. Yes, for sure. Hey, you know what? Always a replay too, guys. Always a replay. Uh, Carla, chapter three is posted. Dinner has been eaten. On to Angela. Beautiful. I will see you guys over at Angela's. I need to get my homework done uh, for my course and I need some deep focus time. Kate, thank you so much. You are so welcome, hon. Words are hard. <laughs> so true jess thank you guys uh take a wee little break uh refresh your beverage refresh your snacks and i'll see you over on angela's stream okay bye guys thank you for hanging out with me today and i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>